Hello and welcome back to another character creation video. My name's Lumen and today we're having a look at Rotwood. Rotwood is a 1-4 player hack and slash dungeon crawler from the makers of Don't Starve and Mark of the Ninja. Battle corrupted beasts, gather what remains and forge a safe haven with your friends. I really like the art style. It's fantastic. It's this interesting 2.5D style that I think at this point Clay Entertainment is quite well known for, specifically because of Don't Starve. And the characters, well, you'll see in just a moment, they fit in quite nicely. I dig it. So, we're going to jump in and have a look. If you'd like to do a deep dive to discover all this, to discover about Rotwood, you can find some links below. And as always, there will be timestamps. Now, I'm going to jump in here. We're going to start by customizing these demons? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know if they're demons. I, I guess they might be demons or goats or something. Uh, then we're going to do the furry ones mammal i think that's what they're called and then we're gonna do the fish people so we're gonna do one two three there will be timestamps as i mentioned so you can jump between them uh, and for the purposes of the video i will take the armor off so you can see what the character looks like underneath now they each have a little bit of flavor text this one says a bit rough around the edges and the middle <laughs> and then your first choice is the skin tone very interesting colors to choose from here, and it's kind of exciting because you get to distinguish yourself quite greatly with this single choice right here. Uh, let us, for the purposes of the video, go with the default color, the first one that they give us, and then we'll move on to the head options. There's actually quite a lot here. Quite a lot. It's done in sort of a modular fashion, which I personally like. I like when games do this, when they give you bits and pieces that you can put together to make your own style. Uh, so you can pick this shaved on the sides, hair on the top thing, or you can pick a fully shaved head, or you can pick like a more standard short style, or you can pick like a half afro curly style. And then you can combine it with whatever else you like. Again, we'll take this one, the first one that they have here for the purposes of the customization, and then we'll jump into the ponytails. So there's a regular ponytail, there's no ponytail, there's two sideways pigtail braids, and then there's the one, I, I guess I'll call it a top knot. And then there's the top knot. It's not so much a top knot, it's more like a top fountain or flower, but you get the idea. Uh, once again, we'll take this one for now, and then we're going to look at the bangs, and after that we'll just do the color quickly on all of it. You can either have the one side bang, no bangs, or the middle fringe. I actually kind of like that. They all look nice. Uh, I'll take no bang for now so we can see the face better. And then let's look at the colors. Kind of cool. I'm not sure why they chose these colors. I'm assuming these are the ones that they want locked for this race. And I'm assuming these ones make sense. Uh, look, I'm going to say law-wise. I'm going to assume they make sense law-wise. I know none of the law. I don't even know what this is that we customize in right now, but I love it. So <laughs> that's whatever. I'm going to take a darker style. Let's go with this one. Just because. Why not? I think it, it combines nicely with the skin tone. Then, brows. Regular brows. No brows. Which actually looks fine. Or... What do you call that? Sliced brows? <laughs> there's, a, there's a way... There's a name. There's a way to describe this. Uh, slashed? No. God, someone help me out here, please. <laughs> It's not like I'm having a brain fart, because I don't think I knew what it was called before. Uh, but, yeah, either way, uh, I kind of like this. I usually like it. A nicked brow, because they sort of make a little, you know? Notched! Notched brow! That's it! Thank you! Thank you! Okay, that's it. I'm thanking myself. <laughs> okay, it must be notched. That's it. So we're going to go with the notched brows. Eyes. Uh, I, I like this, by the way. Uh, for whatever reason, whenever games have these styles of eyes, I feel like they're kind of cool because they're usually quite expressive and you can sort of really change the look and feel of your character quite a lot by taking different ones. If I had to complain about anything here, I would say I would personally like more. Right? So that's the one thing. I'd like some more. Just some funny, f funny eyes. You know, just give me some more funny eyes to do. Uh, like, you know, more excited ones, more angry ones. More deer in the headlight eyes. Uh, it's cool. It's cool. You can change the color of the eyes. Uh, once again, I'm not sure how they chose these colors, but uh, yeah, they look kind of cool. I'll take this one because it seems to fit quite all right. Mouth. Once again, uh, the only criticism, <laughs> but it's not really criticism. The only request I would have is just give me some more mouths. 
Uh, and I mean, who knows? When the full game comes out, maybe there will be more. I like the little tooths. Uh, two, two fees. That's two fees with a long F, right? <laughs> right, noses. Wait, hold on just a second. Yeah, we can't do the color there. Noses. Kind of nice. Can't take the nose off. That one's got a piercing. Let's go with the piercing one and let's change the color. So there's actually quite a lot you can do here, right? There's actually a lot. Huh. All right. Let's go with this one. There we go. And then ears. Cool. I don't know. I thought maybe looking at the ears would give me a little bit more insight, you know, into what we're actually customizing here, but it doesn't really do much. I have no idea what we customize in here. <laughs> Let's take these ones. We can change the color on the ears, which is kind of nice. Let's do the green. We've got sort of a green theme going here. And then adornments. That's the horns. We have the regular pointy ones. We have the sort of back ones. It's like almost like a tiefling, right? We've got the cut off Hellboy horns and we got no horns. Uh, let's go with the back ones because they look cool. And the colors for the horns. It, it seems like there's only two, but it's not really changing much of anything. So, yeah, that's... I'm not sure. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything else really changes it. And, and to be thorough, uh, I, I should probably check. It might be in the body, but uh, I want to say to be thorough, I could go back and look. Yeah, it doesn't really change there. Okay, so I'm not sure how you would change the horn color, but uh, I'm assuming they're still working on that. Who knows? We'll take these ones for now. Then we'll move on to body. Uh, your choices here are basically... Uh, you can you can make it a female character by adding the little tank top with the boobies. And uh, that's it. <laughs> you can have the, the no boobies, the boobies, or the nothing. Uh, and then you can choose to have them black or white. Which is cool. I think this is a good way of doing it. Like, why not? Yeah. And then pelvis, it's the same kind of situation. You're just choosing different underwear here. Uh, minor complaint. Let me match the colors. Uh, the top and the bottom. Minor complaint. Make make this and this the same. I don't know. Maybe there's a law reason for them to have this color underwear. I don't know. And that brings us to the end of the customization for these demon folk. We're going to reroll now. We're going to randomize. And you will see all the different options available. You can... Damn, look at that. You can make completely different looking ones. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, I am thoroughly impressed by this. The sheer amount of different options. And I mean, like, looking at this, I want to say this is like sort of a curated look that they're going for. It feels to me like these are sort of very together setups that they've got, like presets that they made to show us. But no, I think it's actually fully randomizing every single time. I think that they've just got some decent color selections where they don't really have colors that clash or options that clash with one another. So it's quite impressive. There you go. We are done. Let's move on to the Mammals. I think these are probably the most exciting ones to customize. First choice is the skin tone. And it's a pretty big one. It's a pretty big choice because these are vastly different. Uh, I'm going to go for the white one for the purposes of the video, but we will reroll at the end. We'll randomize so you'll get to see, uh, you know, all the different styles available. Let's go on to the head. Ooh, this is kind of cool. Right. So you basically pick in the pattern on the head along with the shape of the fluff, basically. That's kind of nice. Cool. Yeah, it looks so different. Let's go with that one. I'm not sure if you like a cat person or a, a, a proper and knowledgeable dog person or something like that, you might be able to call out and say, oh, this is a cat style, that's a dog style, that's a wolf style. I, I, don't, I don't know these things. I don't know, for some reason this makes me feel like it's a cat style. Browse. Oh, and we can change the, the color on some of the stuff, but not on the, on the, the hair. The brows, we have basically these brows, no brows, or those brows. So it's the difference is these two. And we can change the color on the brows, which is interesting. Uh, it's a very minor thing, but it's nice to have the option. Eyes. I was actually kind of curious about these. I was wondering how they would do it. Oh, that is so cute. I'll definitely take that. They're all actually quite nice, but specifically this one. It's just like, oh, that's a face. That's a mood. It's an entire mood. Uh, let's look what the colors look like, though. Cool. Yeah. I, I like these colors. Uh, this this cyan. Uh, but I like those eyes the most. If for the purposes of the video, let's not take that. Because that sort of funnels you into a, a certain mood and style. Which might not be, you know, the best thing 
to to uh, be distracted by when we're trying to look at all the options. Oh, here's interesting stuff. Okay, so here we have the snoot, right? So the mouth. Right, 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 right. So I, I think maybe... Which of these are feline and which are canine? I can't tell. These two must be canine, right? These last two. And these might be feline. Right? Maybe, 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 maybe. I'll take this one. Nose. Oh, cute. Okay. This is a little hard. We'll take the hard nose. Ears. Ah! All right. Okay. Definitely the floppy ears. You can change the color on them. It's the color on the inside, as you can see there. We'll take the floppy ears because they're nice. They're cute. And then adornment. Oh! That's kind of interesting. Little gem on the head. You can change the color of that as well. Make it the blue color. Here we go. Ah, all the green. They're actually both quite nice. Now we'll move on to body. This is a little different from the previous one uh, because you'll see we have some other options here. But it's not much. You once again get to pick whether you want to be a male body type or a female body type. But it's... It's minimal. It's it's really minimal, especially when you put the armor on. It's like it's gone. See, so you are just a character. Pelvis. See, these guys have matching pelvis colors. Like you can take black here, and then it's black there as well, unless you take one of these. Okay, cool. Arms. It's basically just stripes on the arms, uh, or, or plain, and it's the same here. I think. Yeah, stripes or plain, and then other. That's just a tail. That's a cattail and a dog tail, right? I mean, this could also be a cattail, but uh, yeah, decent. Decent, decent, decent options. Not half bad. Fun characters you can make. I'm almost certain this is going to be very exciting to uh, re-roll. Let's have a look. Oh, cute. Yeah, man. Oh, look at that one. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'd probably make one of these guys. I mean, let's be real. Who wouldn't want to play as one of these? That's pretty cool. Alright. Fantastic. Okay. Our final species. <laughs> this one, this one's uh, flavor text was an invitation to pet uh, mammals belly is always a trap. And this one is the anemone of my anemone is my friend. <laughs> this should be interesting to customize as well. Let's have a look. Oh, the pink is nice. Yeah, we should go with the pink. It's nice. It's vibrant. It's full of life. Let's do it. All right. Head. Okay, so you can have some hair. Or you can have some hair that sort of looks like scales, which is actually kind of nice. We're going to go with that. Uh, we're going to customize all the hair before we do the colors. Ponytail. Oh, cool. Okay. So the modular styles, once again. Uh, I like that ponytail. It sort of looks like some seaweed or something. You can take it off as well if you want, but yeah. Bangs. Uh, let's take the bangs off so we can see the head more. And then let's look at the colors. Hmm. These are nice. I mean, I knew they would be nice. Uh, let's say, because of the pink, let's go with the purple color here. There we go. Brows. We got the regular ones and the bushy ones, or no brows. Let's go with no brows. You can change the color of the brows as well. It goes with the hair color. Eyes. Eh, kind of cool. Would obviously be nice to have a few more options here. But they look okay. Change the colors. Seems to be almost the same as the other characters' eye colors. I don't know. Hmm, it's alright. We'll go for the red ones. Mouth. Ah, that's different. That's kind of cute. I kind of like this one. Makes it feel like a bit more of like a beak. Sort of like a sea turtle mouth or something. Nose. Alright. Got that Gith Yankee nose. I can respect it. I can respect it. The ears are kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like quite a quite a big thing. The ears are a big choice. They seem to... It's like this one's sort of like nice little fish ears. That's sort of like a, a, a more of a scaly fin kind of thing. Uh, where you're looking more like a murloc or that or whatever. And these, they actually look like wings. I dig it. I like these ones, though, because we're making a fish person, so let's just go hard on fish person. Adornment is basically just the uh, splotches, and you can change the color on them. Yeah, all right, let's leave them on, and we'll move on to body. So for body, same as the other two races or species, you get to pick male or female here, basically. 
and you get to change the color. That's cool. Pelvis. Yeah. Funny, they have more colors for their pelvis. <laughs> like, we can change the underwear color here. Interesting. Couldn't do it on the other ones. And then finally, arms. You can just take the stripes uh, less, or like splotches, bigger stripes, sort of like tiger stripes, or no stripes. And that's it. Cool. Now we're going to randomize. Yeah, they look okay. They they look kind of nice. I mean, if you're going for a fish person and you want this kind of look, it's definitely... Ooh, that's nice. The dark blue one is really nice. It's definitely going to be enough for you. Ooh, that's nice too. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, it's like, this is definitely going to be enough for you to, to, to go with. But I will say that I found... Oh, dude, yeah. With, with the glowing... Uh, stripes and stuff that's really nice but I, I did think that there was more variety on the other two and that does bring us to the end of this video so there you go I'm actually kind of impressed I love the art style I love what they've done I love the fact that they went with races that aren't sort of like you know well-known uh, established races they sort of did their own thing with it and that's cool and that also means that they could easily add more stuff in the future they're not really constrained by any preset rules uh, so yeah I, I like what we've seen here and this is obviously like I want to say an early look at what's going to be available I'll have to check it out again when the game actually fully releases but I like what I've seen so far and I think it has a huge amount of potential the art style is already crisp and clean we expected that coming from Clay Entertainment. These guys know what they're doing. Uh, and it, it just works well. Once you actually jump into the game world and stuff like that, the characters look fantastic in motion. Uh, it's really nicely done. So yeah, I'm impressed. I am thoroughly impressed. And again, when you like randomize through them all, there's a lot of cool options available. So yeah, boom, boom, boom. There you go. Thank you guys for watching. Give this one a like and share it and do all that other good stuff. Uh, if you haven't already, you can subscribe to the channel. You can check my links out below. My coffee page is there, uh, my Twitch stream and all the rest. Yeah. Thanks, dudes. I appreciate the company. Go well. Happy that.